Hi cuties, I hope that you guys are doing so well. So today I'm going to be trying out the Tip X Instant Apex Full Cover Tips. These ones are by Five Angels. And it's actually really funny because when I was doing this set in my last Nails and Chill video, I was using some regular stiletto full cover tips from like Shein. And I was complaining that they were like really flimsy and I had to like add a builder gel in order for them not to bend and break. And then one of you guys recommended in the comments that I try these tips because the whole like thing about them is that they are pre-sculpted with an apex so they're like sculpted acrylic tips which is supposed to mean that they like already have that apex and structure to the nail that's going to make the nail really strong and not break it's going to be apparently different than a regular sculpted tip because i think that this one is just going to be like not like thicker but it's going to be more like sculpted as if it was acrylic and not just like super c curved if you know what i mean so yeah, one of you guys suggested that I try these because my tips were really like flimsy And it's funny because I've had these for a while and I've been meaning to try them for you guys So I figured it was about time. So let's just let's just get into this. Let's open it up. Um, okay. Oh, hey Yo, here they are. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Wow. It's like so fancy how they are organized. Um, I think these might have fallen out just because of the way that I had them like stored. The set that I got was just the tips and the Instant Apex nail glue, which is basically just a nail glue gel. There's also tips that come with a UV lamp, but I figured that since I already have one, I didn't need one. So here is the tip weird like i can tell just by looking at it it's like a magnifying glass like look at that what that's so funny what that is so pretty okay i'm gonna get my regular like long coffin tips like some random ones and we're gonna compare them okay so i think that these might be comparable to these medium coffin ones they're about the same length okay yeah so about similar i know this one's matte so it might make it a little bit harder but can you see the difference between like this and this this is just straight thin plastic right so bendy whatnot this one oh there is no way you are bending this holy okay like yeah you know how you know how like nail tips usually got some flexibility to them and it's like not a big deal like they're flexible they're flimsy that's just what nail tips are not these ones bro look at this I'm like actually using force too. And I feel like if I bent any harder, like I don't even know, I don't even think it would break. Bro, I was bending that really hard and I'm, and like, I'm just saying like, I go to the gym, I'm not no weakling. Like I feel like if I wanted to break this, I should be able to, and it's not even bending. Like that's crazy. I am so excited about this. I really, really wish that there was a stiletto shaped one. Is there a stiletto shaped one? I didn't see a stiletto shaped one, but I wish that there was one. Oh my goodness because okay i haven't even tried these yet i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so it goes from size 0 to size 11 and let me just read this manual real quick to see if you apply them just like any regular nail tips or i mean like regular full cover nail tips okay yeah so so they're not pre-etched or anything we're just gonna size them out and then you know do the regular usual steps to put on these full cover tips so nothing really special in that regard so let's just size these out then so the size one fits my thumb just for like i don't know for reference for your own fingers i really wish that companies made like a larger array of nail sizes but i feel like i have a pretty standard nail size so i feel like these ones should fit most people okay so i've got all my nails sized out so i'm just gonna grab this out so that we can use it and then I'm gonna put these bad boys away for later. It would be nice if they were stored in something, even like little baggies or, you know, one of the regular tip boxes. That would be maybe a little bit easier to store, but I guess I will just have to store this box away somewhere or maybe like find a box online or something to put them into. So here are the tips. Uh, next step we have to do is to etch them. In the instructions, they did say to etch them with an e-file. Usually I would just etch them with 
with my primer. And I think that you could do that, but maybe just to follow the directions like verbatim, I will just quickly etch them with my e-file. Actually, I changed my mind. I couldn't find my mandrel, so I decided that we're just going to pr prep them with my primer. And you know what? We're just gonna do an experiment for science. So yeah, we're gonna see if the primer works. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Like it definitely should work because this primer is for acrylic and gel. So if these are acrylic, then it should have no problem. And this way it's a lot less messy as well because we're not gonna have a bunch of like dust to brush off. Okay, so I've got all the tips etched now. At this point, you would want to slightly buff your natural nail if you've like never worn nails before or your nail is like really smooth. You'd wanna take a buffer and slightly etch it to rough up the surface so that everything adheres really well. So I already kind of did that after I removed my previous set because if you didn't know, every time I remove a set, I straight away apply my rubber base gel and that way, since I change my set so often, I can just keep my nails as healthy as can be. So I already have my nails etched and I already have my base gel on. And since I actually just applied this base gel like not even half an hour ago, all I'm gonna do is wipe them off with some 91% alcohol to make sure there's no oils or anything on them. And then I'm actually just gonna apply a super quick primer to all of my nails as well. But again, if you're just like doing this to your nails like for the first time, all you'd have to do is buff your natural nail a bit with a buffer or very lightly with a file and then apply a gel base coat, which didn't come with this box of nail tips, but I think that there might be another set that you can buy on Amazon that does come with a base gel and a lamp and everything. Epic! It's time to put them on. I'm so excited to put these on. They seem to be epic, so I'm really hoping that they are epic. Like sometimes when I want to do just like gel nail art, but I want to have really sturdy, like strong feeling nails, sometimes I debate between just using like a full cover tip that I already have that I know is gonna be a bit flimsy, or just sculpting the nail out of clear acrylic. But sculpting the nail out of clear acrylic takes a long time because you got to do all the filing, and I'm bad at it. So if these work out as well as building a nail with clear acrylic. That's gonna be epic. It's gonna be awesome. So let, let's just do this. I have my little uh, gooseneck UV lamp over here for flash curing. It is motion activated. You see that? Epic. I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. And we are going to take this instant apex nail glue. So what I can see just by looking at it is that there is a space that we need to fill in with the gel, but then there's also an apex that's built in with the product. So it's not like we're going to have to fill in this entire space with gel. Like this part that we're gonna have to fill in with the gel is like half of this. I like how it comes in a little squeezy tube. That's like really nice. So, ooh, and it's thick. That's nice. So I'm just gonna squeeze it out towards the bottom and kind of move it around over all of the area that is going to be on my nail. There we go. Um, this is my first time using these tips, so I might have not estimated the amount of gel that I needed properly, so we might get a lot of leakage, but it's okay. It's a trial and error process, all right? All right, and then we are just going to put it on like that. Oh, yep, a lot of spillage. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it off and we're gonna try again without that much spillage. So I'm just gonna wipe that off and I'm kinda just gonna like move the gel back into the middle. And I'm not gonna add any more gel because I already like wiped off the stuff that squeezed out. So whatever's left should be perfect. Theoretically, flash cure. And I'm flash curing it in this little gooseneck lamp just for like 10 to 15 seconds so that it is secured on my nail. And then after I put all of them on like this, we will stick it in my larger UV lamp for a full minute for a full cure. Okay, okay. That looks pretty good, I think. We did get a little bit of spillage, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. It's all good. We can definitely file that off afterwards. So now I'm just going to put all of the rest of the tips on. And I think I'm finding that it's a little bit easier if you kind of keep Keep the gel concentrated towards the bottom of the tip a little bit and kind of spread it up just a tiny bit. Okay. 
and sometimes if there's a little bit of spillage like right there can you see that there's like a tiny bit of spillage right there after i flash cure it if it's still soft i just go in there and like clip it off if it's like a lot because it's much easier to just clip it off and then file it to smooth it later than like have to file down all of that gel because personally if i have to file gel that close to my skin i will probably nip myself now i'm going to put them in my big uv lamp for a full minute these feel so freaking sturdy bro like get sturdy wow these are not bending these are not breaking uh yikes good thing that i have a rubber base gel on like if i knocked my nail into something or anything like that um it would probably take my entire nail off before breaking the tip anyway now that they're all on i'm just gonna take my e-file with a cuticle bit and clean up around the edges where there might be any over spillage still there definitely is a couple places i need to clean up still and then the instructions did say to buff the entire tip before applying any more gel so since i am gonna go in and do some epic nail art i am going to buff the entire surface of the tips as well of course i managed to nip myself with a buffer block like come on now I'm also going to file the free edge. Just make sure it's nice and sharp. All right, so here they are all filed. I think that they're looking so good and they are definitely sturdy. Super freaking sturdy, bro. Like I can't even, I still can't believe like I can't even bend them. That's crazy. Anyway, here they are all prepped and primed and ready for some epic nail art. Let's do it. Okay, so today I want to do some Y2K Karomi nail art inspired by these amazing freaking adorable stickers that I got. I think they're from AliExpress. They might be from Timu. Either way, I will link them down below for you guys, of course, because they are so adorable and amazing and I need to use them right away, like right now. Like, just look at it. So I've picked out a bunch of different gels and the first thing that I wanna do, because I know for sure that I want to do this is go in with this beautiful rainbow magnetic cat eye gel in this like purple shade because I feel like it's perfect for the Karomi inspired set and I'm going to attempt once again to make some or like make one heart with this paper clip contraption. So let's get to it, shall we? I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to try to incorporate some of the advice that you guys gave me in my other video using this gel, if I can remember it. So anyway, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do this on the pointer finger and I'm gonna start with one coat. Should I have put a coat of like black or something underneath? Maybe, but you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna see what it looks like without a coat underneath because I'm too lazy for that today. And I'm using my opposite hand today, so there's gonna be a lot of cleaning up with mini Q-tips. Instead of going in right away and making the heart, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to create like the velvety effect on this layer. I'm getting there. I feel like I was so close and then totally missed it. I think that that's as good as that's gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a full cure. I would usually just do a flash cure for gels that are so like semi-transparent, but today I feel like I'm on kind of a roll with these nails. I'm feeling good, I'm in a good mood, and I'm afraid that if I flash cure it, it will 100% wrinkle just to ruin my mood. So we're doing full cures today. Okay, looking good, looking good. So now I'm gonna do another layer and this layer is going to be the one that I create the heart in, or at least try to. Now I'm gonna take my paperclip contraption and see if I can do it. Okay, I think I need to create the velvety effect first again. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh my 
thank goodness it's working. Hallelujah. Wow, yay, it's working, it worked, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna give that a full cure, full cure time right now. Yay! Oh, that's so epic. I'm so happy that worked. And that is the only nail I am going to do that on because I, yeah, I don't want to do any more. Okay, for the next nail, since this one's pretty darkish purple, for the next nail, I think I'm going to just apply one coat of this very pastel light purple, the lavender lilac y color. These gels from Sheen go on so smoothly. Like, I'm actually amazed at how good they are, considering they're like a dollar and 50 cents each. I gave that a full cure, and that color's really cute. I like that. There's no reason to complicate things. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now, of course. For this set, instead of doing like one nail at a time from beginning to end, I'm going to put all the gel polish on and then I'm gonna go in with the stickers and charms after we do the gel. So don't worry. <laughs> okay, for the next one, I think I wanna use this extremely sparkly, beautiful black one because I feel like we can't have a Karomi set without any black in it. And this one's just super sparkly and perfect and I want a reason to use it. Not only am I using my non-dominant hand, but I also had a very large amount of caffeine today. So um, there is no stabilization in my hand today. No, there is not. So you know what? I'm sorry that I am getting gel on my skin, but you know what? I'm wiping it off right after. Plus I'm using nail reserve gels and nail reserve gels don't have any HEMA and bad ingredients. So you know what? I'd say I'm safe. I'd say I am safe. I really don't want to do a French tip with my non-dominant hand right now, but I really feel like this one would look so much cuter if it had a French tip in this color. So I think I'm just gonna have to do it. And you guys, I'm actually using, um, my camera does not like a lot of white in the frame, but I got these like little sticky note palette things from AliExpress and they're like a transparent glossy texture. So this was my rubber base gel that's on here right now. So I'm gonna be using this as my palette for my gel from now on because I just realized that I make such a mess on my desk every single time that I do a nail video and I just like cannot be bothered to clean up my palette. So this will just make it so easy to just like throw it away when I'm done. Alrighty, let's do this or at least try my best to. It's actually quite impressive how well this lilac purple color is covering this black gel polish. Again, considering that this gel is a dollar and fifty cents. Also, this specific color I did get in one of my Colorful July subscription boxes, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be able to find it on Shein and link it for you, but I will try my best. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad, but it definitely needs a second coat because those glitters are definitely like popping through and it looks like it has acne or something. So I'm just gonna use the rest of whatever is on my palette to do a second coat. And the second coat should be much easier. Okay, it low key still looks like you can see the little black dots through the French tip like a tiny bit, but I don't know, does it need a third coat? I don't think it's necessary. We're gonna call that one good. I think for the pinky, I'm gonna do a full nail of just this super glittery gel that I have from Beatles. I think this one just came in one of the sets that I've ha gotten in the past. All I know is that it's glittery and it's like the perfect color for a Karomi set, so it's going on. It's pretty jelly with just one coat and I think I want it to be a little more glittery and opaque. So I'm gonna go in with a second coat. Perfect. 
perfect. I love that glittery one. Oh my goodness. I want to use that again, but I don't think I want to do the thumb entirely glittery. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a base layer of this color again, and then maybe like ombre this color from the top. So let's do that. That layer is so smooth, like sheesh, that's impressive. Okay, now I am going to put the glitter. I love this one so much. It has like hollow glitters and like regular purple glitters and silver glitters. It's just, it's too good. It's too good. Okay, I'm gonna ombre it pretty far down cause I like it a lot. And I'm gonna use my trusty ombre brush and just like tap and drag. I think I'm definitely gonna go in with a second layer to darken up the tip. Okay, yeah, that is so much better with the second layer now. And I actually love that so much. I'm kind of debating whether or not I should just do that same thing on the middle finger as well. <laughs> but then will that purple be on too many nails? I don't know, I don't know. Oh my goodness, why is it such a hard decision? Okay, well, I'm just gonna fully cure this and I'll be back and I'm gonna make the decision. So if I come back with this one also ombre, you'll know what decision I made, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I actually decided to go in with this like transparent shimmery gel like a white one instead of this purple one on the middle finger because I wanted it to just stay the pastel like lilac color and I didn't want to add this dark purple to it. But then at the same time, I felt like it felt wrong that all of them had some sort of shimmer except the middle one. So I just went ahead and added some shimmer with this. And now that they're all fully cured, I'm gonna give them a wipe with some alcohol to make sure that there's a no linties. And then I'm actually just gonna go in and then I'm gonna go in with a quick top coat before I put on any stickers or like charms or anything. Because all of these nails have a lot of glitter, I feel like it'll be a lot easier to stick down stickers on top of the nails if they're top coated, just because the surface will be a lot smoother. And also I just like top coating my nails right after I finish the gel polish application because it's just satisfying and I like doing it. So I'm gonna do it. I've never had a problem adhering charms over nails that are already top coated. So that shouldn't be a problem. And then all those layers of gel have definitely bulked up the tips a little bit and made the free edge not as sharp as it was before. So before I go in with any stickers and charms, I'm just gonna take a file and lightly file the free edges to sharpen them up. cuties these are looking so freaking good and i haven't even added like the stickers in the charms that are going to like level them up 150,000 levels so like just in case you forgot look at them look at them how does this even exist i'm going to start by just going in with a couple of stickers right off the bat. I feel like it would be really cute to put the purple uh, little Baku, is that his name? A uh, little chromey sidekick. I feel like it would be so cute to put him on this black nail to add like more purple down here. I feel like he would contrast so well. I love this one. So we're gonna go with that one. These are like really thin and I'm really scared to rip them. Okay, mission successful. And, ooh, which way should we do it? I guess I'll do it this way. Wow, and I put it on somewhat centered. Okay, okay, that's impressive. 
I think that I want to put two Karomi stickers on this one, one up here and one down here. Or should I only put one down here and then leave like this area open for a bow? Actually, no, I think I want to put a Karomi sticker on this one. And wait, oh, this is so hard because I want to make either this one or this one. I want to put a chain like all around it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this one. I think I'm going to put a Karomi sticker in the middle and then like glue a chain all the way around. I think that'll be cute. I'll do angry Karomi since the little sidekick guy is angry as well. Can I center it? Can I center it? Yes, I'd say that's pretty centered. So freaking cute. Okay. I think that I'm gonna start putting some charms on now and then maybe I'll go back in with more of these stickers if there's like still space for them because I know that I also wanna put a Karomi charm on one of these nails and it's probably gonna end up being my thumb. Actually, why don't we just do that? If you haven't seen my charm organization video, I organized all of my charms recently and look at how satisfying this is. And I think that there's only three of these guys left. Oh, which one should I use? Do I use this one on my thumb? Or do I use this one? This is tough because this one definitely would not fit the vibe. I think that the answer is this one, even though I don't wanna use it because I only have three of them, but you know what, it's okay, I have to use them and I can buy more of them. So look, another excuse to buy nail charms. And I'm gonna use my McCart rhinestone glue gel. I did order the LGN Pro rhinestone glue gel that you guys suggested that I get, but I don't wanna open it and start using it until I'm done with the McCart one because I wanna make sure that I finish it first. Perfect. And I'm just gonna give that a flash cure. I think one of these black star charms or maybe one of the heart ones even would look really cute under this, like right under there like that. I think that that's pretty perfect, if you ask me. Ooh, ooh, I think this heart, this heart would be so pretty right there, 100%. Yep, I mean, as you guys, I'm telling you right now, it's making it so much nicer for me to have all my charms on my desk in drawers where I can easily pull them out. So just in case any of you guys were like waiting to see how they're working for me before, like if you're considering buying these organizer drawers, just know that I am absolutely loving them and I don't think I will ever go back to regular bead organizers. There's literally no reason to. I'm thinking that this one would be really cute up here. Or would a bow look better? No, I don't think so. I think Karomi charm would look much better. Her little ears are like most definitely going to get caught on probably everything, but you know what? I can't even be bothered. She's just too cute. Okay, I think I want to put a mini heart charm in the center of this cat eye heart. Oh my goodness, yes. I think that would be so cute. Yes, yep, yep, that's happening. I think like this black bow charm right here. Wow, that's so cute and you can't even see it. Look at that, that is so adorable. Right down there, like that. What do you think? You think it's awesome? I agree, let's do it. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, I think that the middle finger is where I want to put the chain. And here are my chains. So I have some like regular chain. Will that, would that be too big or would that be cute? I think that could actually be really cute because I think the other ones are actually a little too small because I want the chain to be like a statement piece. Like I want you to actually be able to see it. So I think I'm just gonna use regular chain that I got from like Walmart or something in the jewelry section. I'm just gonna like cut off a decent amount of those with my pliers that are now, not pliers, but my cutters that are now very dull because I use them to uh, chop off all of my sets. <laughs> I definitely need new wire cutters. They don't even work. I think that these could work better. Wow, this chain is like indestructible. Wow, it doesn't wanna break. Okay, 
I see you. I see you, chain. Okay, why is this chain literally indestructible? The heck? That's insane. Okay, I've gotta go get a super big daddy pair of wire cutters. I will be back. Okay, I literally got my dad's crusty, dusty uh, tool wire cutters. So, wire, prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> what? Ah, yes, yes, success. I will take that, thank you very much. I know that the length that I cut off, it's definitely not the exact length because I didn't even measure it. I definitely cut off more than I need, but it's whatever. I'm just going to put some rhinestone glue gel on the entire perimeter of this nail. It would probably be better to, or like more professional whatever, to use a brush, but like, nah, it's not really necessary. Just lay that on there, yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut off the excess before I do any flash curing or anything because it's just gonna make it a lot easier if we don't have all that weight hanging off. Oh my God, bro. Ah. <sighs> this wire, bro, like, oh my God. I'm going to take my anger out on it right now. Yeah, that's what you get, wire. Oh no, did I cut off too much? I literally cut off too much. I'm so a dummy dumb. I'm such a dummy dumb. I blame the wire. I blame the wire. It's the wire's fault. I don't know if this makes sense, but I like how this portion is. I think it looks really good. So I'm actually just going to like flash cure that on and then I'm gonna do the rest after. Okay, epic. Now I'm just going to cut the rest off. I've literally never wanted to do harm to an inanimate object uh, more than I want to do harm to this chain right now. Bro, it literally just stabbed me. I literally said I wanted to do harm to it and then it stabbed me. That's cra That's crazy. It's fighting back, I swear. Okay, well we have that much on. I just need to do that for the rest of it now. You know what, I think I'm gonna try to do it off camera so that this video isn't just like 30 minutes of me trying to put this chain on. So I'll be back in literally a second with the rest of the chain magically on. Okay, so I did that and it honestly took quite a long time and I immediately went in and just top coated the chain just because I didn't want anything knocking it off and plus I don't want it to get tarnished so I want to just make sure that it's extra top coated but anyway there's that um now for this one this guy definitely needs a charm and what I am thinking is using this little silver bow charm I feel like that would be so cute 100% man using my charms right now is making me want to buy charms and I already know that when I finish this set I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna be watching a movie with my family and I'm probably gonna end up ordering charms on Timu because I want to so bad. I think that that nail is cute like that so I'm gonna leave it like this and also this one I'm not adding any more charms into the empty space because I just like it like that. Okay now the last one is gonna be a difficult decision because there's so many choices. I could go in with one of these epic sparkly heart sparkles. I could also just go in with like the simple metal heart and I think that would be epic. There's also this sparkle one, which is actually black. So it would match the theme really well. Ooh, but I also forgot about these sparkly ones. Can you guys see that? I bought so many of these. I think that would actually look pretty cute. So we're using it. We're using it. I bet that a lot of you guys wanted me to use that sparkle with the heart gem. And I agree, it would have looked really cute. But I think for this set, I just wanna keep it more like not as sparkly, which doesn't make any sense. Like why would you wanna make anything not as sparkly? But I don't know, I, I kind of just want an excuse to use this charm. And I'm also low key 
scared of using the other charm because the other charm is so pretty and I'm not completely sure if I want to use it. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared of using nice things, okay? I gave those a full 60 second cure. So now I'm gonna go in with a whole bunch of isopropyl alcohol, like soak them in isopropyl alcohol before I put the top coat on because I don't want there to be any lint, okay? Like I hate when lint gets stuck in the top coat. Um, one of you guys suggested in the comments of one of my other videos, which I thought was such a smart idea, like spraying your nails with isopropyl alcohol and then using like those big brushes, like the ones that you're supposed to like brush your nails with when you wash them after you file. You said that you brush your nails off with those and isopropyl alcohol before putting the top coat on. And I think that's an amazing idea. So I definitely need to buy me one of those big brushes because yeah, I hate me linty nails and there just always seems to be lint in the air. And now I'm just gonna go in with my no wipe glossy top coat and I'm just gonna use this one because I wanna use it up and it's pretty nice, it's pretty thick and it seems to have exploded everywhere in my drawer. So uh, yeah, I just wanna use it. Wipe this off a bit. It's not so insanely sticky. Let's top coat these bad boys. I'm gonna put a top coat on everything including all of the charms and rhinestones because I want everything to be super secure. And when you top coat the rhinestones and the charms, it also helps them not to get caught on everything. I'm really happy with how these nails turned out. I think they turned out so freaking cute. I also really like these Tip X tips. I really wish that they would come out with some that are like extra, extra long and in all different shapes, like stiletto, square and everything, uh, because that would be literally amazing. I mean, do they have that already? I could just like not know and they already have have all different lengths and different sizes and different shapes, but I haven't seen them. So honestly, if they came out with different length and different shapes, they'd probably be my go-to tip because I really just love knowing that my tips aren't gonna break. At least I really don't think that these tips are gonna break. They seem pretty indestructible to me and they didn't even turn out like bulky or anything, like not any bulkier than they would have turned out if I used regular full cover tips with all these charms and layers of gel and such. So they really just work about the same as a regular full cover tip, just super freaking sturdy. Oh my goodness, I actually love these so much. These are so freaking cute. I hope that those of you who want me to do a Karomi set are happy with this one because I sure am. I love this one and it definitely won't be the last Karomi set that I do because I freaking love Karomi. They're so cute. Let me know which nail is your favorite. I wanna know. Also, links to all the products will be down in the description box below, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, definitely smash that like button to help your girl out. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much for that. You, I wish I could give you a hug. Big hug from me, big hug big hug. I love you so much. I hope that you are having the most amazing day, night, week, life, cutie. Really go enjoy yourself. Go enjoy being a human. Go and go touch grass. I, I don't know. Um, I think I need to go touch grass right now. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys sleep well if you're going to sleep and that you have a great morning if it's morning for you or whatever. Anyway, I will hopefully see you in the next one, cutie. Bye. Mm.